Hi everybody, we're going to be showing you how to set up uh, the spindle analog 0 to 10 volts in order to control from the Mark 3 board to the inverter and then to the uh, spindle motor at the 24,000 RPM. So first of all, let's take a look at the wiring connection. On the Mark 3 board, we're going to be using the two wiring. One is the 0 to 10 volts uh, and the other one is to the ground, which is the pin 14. The white line would be the P14, and then the green one would be the 0 to 10 volts. Okay, so let's take a look at how it connected to uh, the inverter. This one is the PI7600. Uh, so the white line would connect it to the V3. Again, the white line is the pin 14, and the green one is the 0 to 10 volts connected to the V2. Also, the orange line here is, um, is how you want to uh, keep it at the forward, uh, connected forward to the common. If you want to have, uh, uh, be able to rotate it uh, in the reverse direction, you would, would want to connect uh, a switching and also that would connect it to reverse. So like a three-way toggle switch. Okay, um, let's take a look at the parameter. Okay, first of all, you would want to come to the F5. And then you want to change this one by pressing again program and then go to one, two, three, four, okay, let's go to three. This one would be terminal. So that's how it will assign that this one gonna be connected everything uh, through the terminal. Press set, now it leave it at uh, F05. Okay. Um, make sure you go back to the F01. You wanna keep it at zero, F03. Three, you want to keep it one so that we can go maximum to the 400 hertz. Um, let's go to F04. This one you wouldn't want to keep it at one. This would be uh, letting the inverter know that we're going to be sending the signal through these two wires in here. Okay. Then F05, we just change that to three. And also make sure that the F13 is the maximum 400 hertz of the spindle motor here. Okay. So. Now let's take a look at um, the Mark III setup. First of all, you want to come to the config and then you want to go to the port and pin. Okay, go to the motor output, check box on the enable and then make this one a pin 14. Leave it zero, uh, and check this one here, check this one, the step low. Okay, you want to have a step low active for this one here. Um, then you go to the spindle setup tab, okay? On this tab here, make sure the use spindle motor output checked, step direction motor checked. Everything is, should be the default, okay? Then you check apply, okay? Press okay. Now you come to the config again, go to the motor tuning. Go down to the spindle part. Now have the X, Y axis on, go to spindle. I already set this up, but then you want to change this to maybe about 100, depend on the uh, spindle motor that, that you have. Now the velocity you want to put it, I put it at 15,000 uh, millimeter per minute. The acceleration I put at 2,000, you can change the value here and see um, how it come out. Step part, um, I have to change it, I leave it a little bit high at eight. Uh, direction port, I don't use this, so I go everything and go save access. Make sure you do that. Then you go OK. All right. Now we're gonna let's take a look at. Um, oh, make sure it's reset. We can just go and then we just go M zero three S. Let's go to thousand RPM. Okay. Enter. You're gonna see the spindle is already moved, okay? And also on the Mark III board, you're gonna see the light LED, this one with LED, okay? I'm gonna go on the M, M03 on the MDI, M03, let's go on the M03, let's take a look at the board. Oh, I'm sorry, M05, M05, okay, press enter. It will stop, also the spindle would also stop completely. Okay, let's turn it on again and go M03 S. Let's go faster here, 5,000 RPM. Okay. Go faster. Let's go S7000. Faster. Yeah, that sound different. 
Okay. Let's go back to S2000 RPM. Okay, slower. Also, what you can do here is you can check uh, the voltage that's coming out. So I already have a meter set up. Then I'm gonna go to the pin 14 here and also to the, if I could connect this. Actually, maybe easier here. Okay, so I'll go pin 14 and here. Okay. You see the value here is a 70, 0.79 volts. So if you change it to the S, let's say uh, 10,000, it will go uh, five times more. So you can have something like about uh, what, uh, four, four point something volts. Okay, so it's like an analog to 10 volts.